Last time I had to make a video like this, it was because of Black Lives Matter. This was in May in 2020, and here we are in March of 2021, and I'm making another one of these videos. And I, like I said in my last video, um, I don't like making these videos. I really don't, just because I feel like, um, I feel like this isn't something that I have, I should, like, I, I just feel like this is something that shouldn't be happening in life in general. Like, I shouldn't have to come onto YouTube and um, on my channel where I talk about personality science and psychology and have to explain why um, Asian people shouldn't be treated differently or worse or should be killed uh, for the way they look or persecuted or attacked or verbally attacked, et cetera, et cetera. Whatever has been happening in this past year, there's been up to 4, 000, like 3,900 something incidences according to STOP um, AAPI um, HATE, um, which is the organization that's trying to stop you know, anti-Asian uh, violence and things like that. And uh, by the way, this is not scripted. I'm really just saying what I is coming to uh, my mind right now and just to really be as real as I possibly can about this. Um, so I think a lot of you, for those of you who don't know, I'm pretty sure a lot of you know that um, these women that were working at these spa or massage um, shops in Atlanta were shot and killed, eight of them. Um, I actually, it's not eight women. There was like six women, I think. It was six confirmed Asian women. The two others might be customers or people of other races, I'm not sure. Um, but, you know, eight people were killed. Six of them were Asian. So, you know, uh, yeah, I mean, I, my heart goes... <laughs> My heart goes out to the people that were shot and killed and um, and the people that were innocent in the situation. And, um, you know, it's hard for me, like if I had to be honest, I don't feel right now like any emotion towards this. Um, I really don't. And I'm not gonna pretend like I do. Like I'm not gonna pretend like, oh, my heart goes out to these people and I just pray for the fam. I don't know these people, like I don't. So I, I, I just, I don't know, I, can't, I don't have that feeling right now. Maybe later I will, but right now I don't. But I do, what I do feel the emotion of is that um, it's just, it's frustrating for me to like have to do this. Like, and I, 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 I feel, I, I'm only doing this because I feel I have a responsibility to do it. And, um, I, and I don't want to make it make it sound like it's a burden. I don't think it's a burden. I just think it's 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 really depressing and it's really annoying that that this is something that I ha that I should have to do, right? That's what frustrates me the most. It's something that shouldn't I, I feel like I shouldn't have to make a video like this at all. Nobody should. Nobody in this world should. And um, I know that's not the reality. I know that's uh, that's not the way the world works. Um, however, I think I'm, I have like snot coming. I don't know if maybe it showed, but anyway, um, yeah, I I think that um, yeah, this is ridiculous, and um, I I feel responsibility because I feel like I can do something at least, and you know. For those of you who follow me and watch my videos, and you know, I, I'm really thankful for you for you all, and I'm really thankful that um, that you're tuning in and video after video. And I don't want to burden you with these um, with these heavy topics like this. It just I, I really just want to talk about personality science and MBTI, and that's really what I'm on here on YouTube for. And occasionally, you know, I want to talk about my my passions and my hobbies like collectibles and toys and card games and things like that but you know mostly right now it's about psychology and um it's really it's really crappy that i have to make this video right but um the main point of this is that uh yeah like you know cut it out like guys like people out there i'm not saying you but if anybody out there like has anything against uh, someone else who doesn't look like them? My first question is why, and um, 
and I already know the answer to that, to that, but it's just like, I think you should ask yourself why. And, um, because there's, we, we, we want to make a better world, right? We want to believe the world better than we found it. And, um, as, as cruel as the world can be sometimes, and as, as, as sad and, and painful as the world can be sometimes, it doesn't mean it can't be changed. Like we can all live in a paradise, right? And I, I really do think the world is a paradise. It's just, it's tainted, right? It's tainted by, um, you know, it's tainted by, by people being shitty essentially. And we, and I was thinking about this uh, when I was driving in my car is that, you know, hell sometimes is other, like for the most part, I feel like hell is um, just like, you know, the situations that we set up for ourselves, right? It, it, like we, if we all decided together that we will be awesome and kind to each other and, and loving and, and caring, then we wouldn't have um, this sadness that we have these days with, you know, hate crimes and hate in general and racism and all th these things like this. And it's especially important because um, for me to say this and make this video, I think, is because for the longest time I felt like I should just put my head down and not say anything like people don't care, people shouldn't care, like, you know, we're just uh, like, I. I I, a lot of Asians think, oh, we're just guests in this country. We're just visitors. We're not, we're perpetually foreign and we don't belong here. So let's just, you know, do what we have to do. Be quiet, shut up, you know, put up with everything and, um, you know, give, give it to, to, uh, the majority and, um, give them the, all the, the, um, the benefits of, of being in this country. And that's kind of how the mentality is. And, you know, uh, and it's, it's not our fault. Like, it's just, it's just the way the world kind of was. It's, a, it's been a different time and we just have, we, there's a different mindset, uh, going into 2020 and, um, from the past. And, and so I, I think now I'm starting to realize that it's just, that's not a, that's not the right mindset. It's, it's wrong. It's, it's definitely wrong. It's, it's something that has been instilled by a, a force that, that we didn't, that wasn't resisted. It was something that was imposed onto people that look like me or people that are of, of color. And it, it's, it's really something that, uh, it, it, it was just something that was not real. It's not real to think that you don't belong when you carry an American passport and you were born in this country and you're raised here, especially Asian Americans. Like we, we belong here. We do. This is, this is our country. This is where we were born. And, um, and in my case, I spent a majority of my life here now. And, um, o o over every, every other country that I've lived in, um, and it, 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 I don't know about any more, uh, more about any other culture than American culture. And I speak English better than I speak Mandarin Chinese. So like it, it, it just, it's so bizarre that, um, we're being told by other people that we're not really truly American. And it's, it's really sad to hear that when somebody says that because I just know that that's not, uh, it's not right. It's not real. It's something that has been imposed on you. And, um, and, and there's no place for that kind of mindset or rhetoric in, 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 in this day and age, I don't think. Um, I'm just checking the time. If you see my eyes look kind of wandering, um, uh, we're about 10 minutes, but I can keep going. So, uh, but now I really realize that Asian Americans have this uh, unique responsibility. There's not a lot of us. If you really think about it, there's not, we're not a majority, right? It's like we're, we're at, we are a minority in this country. And, but we do have a special, uh, I don't wanna say special, I, do, I think we do have a unique kind of circumstance in which we um, are on this incredible stage, a global stage that um, 
is broadcasted to the rest of the world. America matters to the rest of the world and has mattered. And um, what happens here influences everything around America. And I think Americans who haven't been overseas, I don't think, or think about overseas, don't realize that, that, um, that what happens here really does have a ripple effect to the rest of the world. And I've experienced this firsthand in my life where, I, I mean, I've lived in so many different countries that I realized that, yo, like what happens here in America, right, is going to affect how everybody thinks about everything. If American movies portray Asian people as nerdy, as effeminate, as emasculated, as uh, as dumb or can't speak English or stupid or nerdy, um, weird. If 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 American movies portray that, everyone in the world will think that about us. And I've experienced this in my life where. I, no matter where I go, there's still this hatred of Asianness or East Asianness, and this perpetual feeling of that we are dehumanized by uh, by other people. When people say things like, when they say like, "Oh, Chinese people are this, Asian people are that," and, and we get clumped together, and they do the eye thing or all these different things that are clearly anti-Asian rhetoric, uh, it, it, really, it really just dehumanizes us to the point where people don't care. Like people don't think we're, our lives matter. And now I'm starting to really feel the Black Lives Matter and why that was such a, 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 you know, an, a, 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 such a, a, a feeling of, of anger because, um, uh, yeah, I've, I'm experiencing it now firsthand too, feeling like, and I don't want to put the, the, you know, the Black Lives Matter movement to, you know, stop Asian hate. I, I don't want to put those on equal plane. I don't like it's, I think it's different, right? I, I do think black, the Black Lives Matter movement, um, is, was, uh, it's so hard to say, like, I, I think what I want to say is that I think it's two different things. Um, and I think, I do think that, um, the Black Lives Matter movement is, um, something that has a bit more weight to it just because it's just so, there's so much history to that. Um, but of course it doesn't, minimize stop Asian hate. And it doesn't mean that we don't matter. Um, uh, like we, we matter as well. That's, I think that's what I really want to say is that Asian people matter as well. And um, it, it really breaks my heart. I don't know why I'm saying breaks my heart. I'm making things up now. What I want to say anyway is, <laughs> This is the difficult thing about making these videos too, is that sometimes you feel like you have to fill in spaces where you don't know what to say and you, just, you start saying things like, it breaks my heart. And I didn't really mean that. Um, I'm just getting flustered because I'm, I, I feel like I might say something wrong and I don't want to. <sighs> and now I'm sighing to act like, you know. Okay, let's get back on track. So with what I was saying was that, yes, um, what we do here in America now as Asian people matters. We should speak up. We should say something. We should fight for it because we have that responsibility. If we keep silent, if we're here and we can say something and people can hear us in person, which is superior to all forms of communication, in my opinion, we should do something. And this is what I'm doing now is that I can't go up to people and talk to them right now because we're all wearing masks and it's just like, oh, I can't even, 
look at somebody and talk to them is, is, is video. This is the next best thing that I can think of. And um, I, I, we, we should all do something. And this is why I'm making this video. This is why I'm gonna include some links. There's gonna, I'm gonna include a link down below in the, um, the description of, um, and also on this video uh, somewhere here. And I'm going to uh, link you the Stop AAPI Hate uh, website where you can donate. Uh, I don't know specifically <laughs> what they're doing, but I, this is initially, this is what I can give to you. Um, if you want to help out or, um, you know, or reach out to a Asian friend or reach out to somebody you know who's Asian and just ask them how they're doing. Um, cause, uh, yeah, I didn't want to admit this, but sometimes we need that support. Sometimes we need somebody talking to us and saying, Hey, how you doing, man? Um, and last thing, last but not least, is uh, is the whole like anti wokeness thing. The whole like minimizing the the woke movement. I, I do agree that sometimes people take it too far when it comes to you know social justice or um, making things better for all people uh, type deal. Is what's worse is the whole like anti wokeness where it's like. Oh, we're cool. Like, you know, we're not woke. We're, 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 we're reality people. We're, you know, we're all about the facts and we're all about the, and it's true, but you're going totally the opposite way, which is another problem because you can go totally like, you know, the person that screams, no, after finding out Trump wins a social justice thing, or you can go the total other way where you can go like, oh, like this whole thing is bullshit. Like people are just whining, people are just complaining. Uh, dude, like if that's the case, then it's not like, there wouldn't be so many people talking about this and so many people being uh, angered by this. People are not dumb. People have intuition. They know when they're being messed with. They know when there's something wrong. Like, people can tell. So to say that there's nothing going on, that there's no such thing as racism, there's no such thing as, uh, you know, uh, bias, racial bias, is complete and utter craziness, in my opinion. It's just, it's complete, it's a complete state of denial. It's a complete, um, it's selfish, really. It really is about you. It's not about other people. It's about you and how you want to appear in the situation. Because don't get me wrong, I was a fool. I was fooled by that too. I was a, for a brief time trying on those pants. I was like, you know, I'm anti-woke. Like, I, I don't I don't think any of this exists. Like people are just being complainers. Like they just gotta work hard and pick themselves up by their bootstraps. But now that I'm experiencing this firsthand, I can really feel it. Um, this past year, I really felt it of, you know, when, when there's so many people working against you, it really weighs you down and it really frustrates you. And it really makes you slowly, I think, kills you. Because think about how much mental health damage it, it causes. Look, think about how much, um, stress it causes and stress is terrible for our health and when you have so many people against you in that way you have so much stress built up and it's shaving years off of lives and it's it's not helping anybody who's having health conditions you know elderly asian americans who are you know just you know, they could be 70 something and they could be perfectly fine. And then all this added stress can just, you know, take, take them to another level. And I don't even want to talk about it, but you know, it's just, it's really, it's really shitty. And, uh, and, and this is why this video, I think making this video matters. And I think this is why I'm doing something about this is because I'm finally realizing that I know something's wrong. And I know that something needs to be said about it. And to keep silent about it is not going to help anybody. It's not gonna help me. It's not gonna help um, you know, my friends and family. It, it, it's only going to make the problem worse. 
it's going to let things get even worse and it's enabling these issues. And these things aren't supposed to even happen in life. I shouldn't have like Asian, any person that uh, of any look or physical appearance shouldn't have to go out on the street and feel like they might get shot. Like, what is that? Like, why, why is that part of our reality? You know, we should be able to go out in the street and be able to look in, into the stranger's eye and say, hi, how are you doing? I hope you're having a good day. Like, that's the world that we want to live in. Like, at least let's be able to do that. Like, just go out in the street and say hi to somebody and have a conversation and have a good time. Like, I'm not, we're not even asking for people to hand out donuts to random people every day and, and you know, expect to have a donut handed to you every day when you're out, out and about in public. But at least, you know, let's be able to trust each other again, right? Um, and this isn't just for America, it's for the whole world. I'm pretty sure the whole world is, is in pain right now. And um, I don't want to point fingers at anybody. Like, this is not what it's about. It's about um, realizing that we're, uh, and you know, Joe Rogan says this all the time, we're just, um, we're just a, a rock in, the, in, in space, just float, like flying through the air, flying through space. And we're all on it. And this whole, like, this, everything about this whole, like, uh, you know, separation, segregation thing, it's just, it's fake. It's not real. It's a scam. Don't believe it. Um, that's all I'm going to say right now. Uh, I hope this video helps you. If um, this video offends you, I'm not apologizing. You can subscribe for my, my channel. I don't want anybody who is racist on my channel. I don't care. Um, you can just leave. And I don't, I don't want to, you know, talk to you, but if you want to comment, if you want to have a conversation, an actual conversation, I'm open to have it too. Even if we have a different, um, if you, even if we have different viewpoints, but I ask of you, like, just, um, if you have hatred towards Asian people or you have hatreds towards people that don't look like you, then you're not welcome on this channel. I, I, I don't accept that. I don't believe in that. Um, I'd rather have less subscribers than have people following me that, um, that are just terrible people and, and don't make the world a better place because that's what we wanna do. We wanna make the world a better place. All right, thanks for watching this video. I'm done. I will, sorry, this got really heavy and um, I was wanting to and, um, you know, in some parts I got kind of um, scrambled, uh, my words got jumbled up, but uh, I've been going through a lot of stuff too and so this is just like a, kind of a relief for me actually. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I want everybody to stay cool, um, stay safe out there. I think things are getting better and I can see it every day, it's getting better. Um, but anyway, take care. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.